played very safe versus Great Clash of Bale earlier, and it just really just worked out for. Didn't fall for most of Bale's approaches. Honestly, Bale just really struggled to get in. Great Clash of Bale, anyway. So uh, maybe, maybe Frog a little bit more familiar with uh, the matchup, possibly. Yeah, not much in neutral right now. It was, both just kind of trading. Uh, so far, though, I really like that Frog is using the jump at ABK to get over uh, Pac-Man's Hydrant setup. It's actually not giving Peewee a lot of time to charge fruit because Bale's is getting in Pac-Man's face immediately. Yeah. That's not that's something we didn't really see much from Great Clash to Bale. Oh. oh, nice. Looking for the confirm oh. with the up air after that one. That's a thin, though. I'm surprised Kiwi went for up or not back air just because you want to get Bale off the stage, but I understand, like, a dot high E might have taken care of Bale right there. I'm not sure how much. I haven't seen up air be that strong. Oh, what a read. Oh, call out. Yeah, of course the That was really good. Yeah. You're, you're obviously going to want to roll away from that because you don't want to neutral get up into the bell. Unfortunately, man, I think that was a fresh wish time too. Yeah. He still didn't, uh, <laughs> still wasn't able to punish. Yep, a little too slow now. Nice. Yeah, Frog has just been finding the back there, is it like. You know, out of the percent for combo setups to lead to kill, just face the back air at the ledge. Really good timing on that. Alright, this is already have a really good stock for Kiwi. Oh, that was solid for Kiwi. Again, just you playing very, very patient. Yeah, like you said, really patient fake up that for that quick item play there. And like you said, he's playing patient, and that's a good reason too. He has a big lead. He doesn't have to really blow it up against Bayonetta. It's Bayo who's gonna have to commit with a lot of those options, like after Burning Kick, or even the heel slide, because she and those options are something that can be stopped by Pac-Man if he's ready for that whip punch afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's big. Oh, yeah. That's man. Yeah, Bayonetta has a lot of landing lag after using all of her uh, her specials like that. So if you fall out of the combo and they're already committing to pressing all the, you know buttons after if you catch the landing it's really really punching for for Bayonetta. That was a really smart uh, up smash there for Kiwi to get that. Is it back air? Okay. Carries this afterburner kick with the Quick wit twist, not able to take him to the skies just yet here. 106 on Kiwi, you know that frog is looking for that percent as soon as possible. Whew, almost the call out, but not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just really a good play for Kiwi. Most of the time when she does get hit, uh, it's not something that she has to really be threatened of dying to most of the time. And this is allowing her to continue to set up, continue to make these good trades. Mm -hmm. Really just like, a little in the lead as much as possible. But I, I like that. The ABK to uh, sweet spot back here. Really good on Frog to follow the DI for that. Yeah. Frog but, with 75, Kiwi with that 0% here. He's looking to catch something neutral there. That's usually what you see from Pac-Man on the shield. Kiwi with a big lead. No catch on the Texan scenario there. Good stuff though, just to throw out that fruit. Always want to go for those options. Oh, I'm not sure if... Frog meant to ADP in the direction the there. Hydrant. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, the, the hydrant, hydrant actually. The hydrant blo body blocked Bayo. So she stayed closer to Pac Man for that Force Smash to connect like that. That was actually really yeah, good. Right, for shout, Kiwi. Out, shout outs to Utah VG, man. Yeah, Kiwi is definitely mad good. Well, yeah, Kiwi is considered one of the best Pac Mans in the US in general, so.
for a very long time. Yeah, the body ever block since plus Smash 4. Yeah. <laughs> the body block plus the water box that comes out of that that pushes Bayo. So good. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Cool to see that Kiwi continue to do well with this character. I haven't seen her play uh, in a while. But still, obviously, very good Pac Man. I think this is like a really good Pac Man to watch too, to like understand the basics of uh, how to play the character, but oh. not the basics of how to DI Bale combos. Because, <laughs> man, Kiwi definitely SDI that Wish Twist straight up at the end. Yeah. That's like the last thing you want to do. That's like the DI you do when you want the Bayo to kill you early. But we'll, we'll take that if you're Frog. Saw the opening. Took he it. ran with it, yeah, he ran with yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was great. And, and normally, you know, this is usually a great scenario when you're able to get a low percent kill on Pac-Man without taking much percent yourself. He kind of uh, gets blown up when he's the one forced to approach, especially against a highly punchable character, or a highly punching character like Bayonetta. Okay, we got the witch time. Yep. Ooh, Trust me, I'm told not enough here. Charge. Nice. Barely clipping the blast on, as you can see, that percent kind of changed a little bit up there. Yeah, and and frogs lapped Kiwi on percent by quite oh, a bit. No. At this point. But spacing the back air a little bit uh, bad timing when yeah. you punch. Oh my goodness, people, please. Okay, okay, okay. Get that back. That until back again. But yes, when the Pac-Man gets the the fruit in his hand and he goes to the ledge. Just leave him alone. <laughs> He's just gonna throw the, the Galaxian at you and then do a ridiculous early combo. Yeah, like, leave, leave that guy it, alone. Just let him go to the ledge, man. Take the stage control. Oh Yo. my. Oh okay, my. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we saw the critical like, hit, man. Not it. No. She had to have been DIing in a way that will get her killed early, and then she fixed it in the kill screen. Oh no! Okay, see, that was a really okay, good okay. trap from Kiwi, because the trampoline forces Bale to go into a jump in which Kiwi yep. can actually punish that option. Plus the yep. bell for added pressure, that's a lot. Oh! That was smash? Yeah. No way! That that positioning on that was so good. What the mm -hmm. heck? Oh, so you have to ledge with the, the Galaga again. Kiwi is yeah. pulling out all the stops to get to, yep. get to this comeback. I like the frog recognizes he's like, wait, she, she got the gla the Galaga Galaxian at zero, she's at the ledge, like, I I'm not gonna jump into this. <laughs> no need to. Oh, oh what, a what a punish, what a punish. It's switch time. Dang, 1-1. One, one. Man, that was, that was a really good adaptation from Frog. After that yeah. first early kill, he just was like, yeah, I'm definitely not giving up this lead. I do think, I kind of agree here with SSB Noah. I do think Shadow PR is definitely a much more prominent uh, Bayonetta main, for sure. Definitely one of those mm -hmm. players that kind of like has a really strong representation with the character. When you think about Bayonetta mains as a whole, you know, it's not just Frog, but it's also, yeah, Shadow PR. Really, really strong Bayonetta main out there. Yeah, I know he plays a lot of Palo too, but his Bayo is really good. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I will see him when I go to Texas, because he's from there. No, you're not going to, because you will, you won't see him. You're staying in SoCal. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Channel PR from Texas, of course. Do you know the damage multiplier for charging smash attacks is halved by any opponent trapped in which time? Three, two, wow. One, that sucks. <laughs> 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 pretty, that's a pretty messed up nerf. But damn. I, I, I guess? <laughs> I mean, when this, when this character was ridiculous in 4, let's be honest. Smash, smash 4 was not a 2 stop game. <laughs> Thank God it's a three-star game in this one. But anyways, I digress. It is what it is here, and of course it's game three. Kiwi and Frog. We all know how it goes, man. This is a really important one for you oh. the lead. And of course, the town and city yeah. pays its dividends, being such a high blast zone. Kiwi able to survive that bullet. But Frog with a lot of the adaptation just sharking Kiwi off the stage. That was actually such a good edge guard from Frog. He got all the percent and then I just like that he uh, jumped off the trampoline to get his jump back when he used all of them. While also spacing a back air too. 
Oh, yeah, for this, matchup, in the back air. for this matchup, going off stage preemptively versus Pac-Man seems to be much better than against DK. Because it doesn't seem like Pac-Man can reversal you that hard. Oh, throwing the bell the other way. That was interesting. Oh, not enough, but very close. Oh, almost gets the key snipe. Okay. Interesting hydrant play at the ledge. Just get enough time to charge the fruit again. Phil? Oh, frog. That was such a strange interaction. Look like he canceled out the bell, but he still got stunned even after his move ended. Oh, nice catch. That would have covered roll and jump. That was actually really good for frog. Nice shield pressure there with the Galaga. Nice. And that narrow shield is so good for Pac-Man. Yeah. And he finally, you finally get in on Pac-Man, and he just like hit his shield back. He's like, "Nope, you're out again." It's a I really pressed, good. I press Nair. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what it takes to be a really good character in this game, right? Having a decent out of shield options. Because if you have really poor ones, you get pressured really hard. And against a character like Bale, you really need that Nair out of shield, especially if Pac-Man. Wow! <laughs> gets the pellet for the invincibility and the recovery for Kiwi. Dang! I saw the red flash on that too, so. Didn't look like he was able to take that. That was a really unfortunate trade. But these up smashes, man, frog. He's just finding them every time. Nice. Covering above Bayonetta with the Galaga there. Good pressure. And of course, if you are Bale, you kind of lose your out of shield option there, which is usually an afterburner kick. Because you might get hit by Galaga. Kiwi looking for a food here, but Frog continuing this pressure, not letting Kiwi breathe. Yeah, look at that. Nair out of shield immediately. Yeah, the minute you get pressured, great option. Look for the combo extender. Nice play here out of the shield once again. Kiwi looking to take control back against Frog here. Look at the percent changes now. Yeah, percent is just going back and forth. Like, neither of them is holding on to a lead for very long. Okay. The bell here again. Kiwi going for something out of the shield. Just holding shield the whole time. He was probably Not looking for some kind of roll there too, especially with Bell being pressured. Oh, what a oh. call out! What a call out after the forward air on the shield! Damn, that's so abrupt. <laughs> it was good too because you talked about how good Pac-Man has those aerials out of shield. And for Frog just to understand that spacing between him and Kiwi with that forward smash being such a good reach is an excellent punish and it pushes Frog up to set point here in game four. So good. Yeah, that was a really good read. Mm, he got smash attack kill every stock that game. Yeah. You think about Bayonetta 2, her smash attacks have have that big startup and cooldown, but they have that range, and they're mostly done enough where you can get a decent read or a decent punish on your opponent. And that range, in which where Frog was, really strong with punish range, to just throw out that forward smash. I think Kiwi might have to tone down those out of shield options too as well. Especially if Frog is catching on. Alright, well, game four. Potentially the last game of the night here. We'll see what he has got it in. Yeah, we'll put it past Kiwi to make that comeback, though. You know how strong Kiwi can be. Okay. Did he, I, <laughs> I always I hold, my, hold breath my breath for that one. Yeah, yeah. Because of that, <laughs> the way she died the last game, man. I, I don't know what's going to happen when she goes up there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I always I'm, I'm I'm with uh, with Sheen on Synex. Dude, I'm always thinking like, okay, hold on, are we Smash Four again or are we Ultimate? Where are we at right now? <laughs> kind of the biggest change between Ultimate and Smash Four, obviously between the metas, is like the stage two because Smash Four, Town and City had that low ceiling. Ooh. Yeah, what a back air! Uh, right in the middle of the free charge. Yeah, that was actually so good timing. 
That was similar to how Chunky has been getting his like deep off stage back air, and, like right when you want to start your jump, just hit you. That was really good timing. Yep. I, I love this for Bayo, man. You get the stock lead, and you can just stack up so much safe percent on Pac Man since he's forced to approach. And like his approach options without using, you know, fruit or hydrant are uh, pretty telegraphed. Oh my goodness. Off the top? No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Order? Never, okay, okay, man, okay. Pounding City is a blessing, dude. That blast zone just blesses you, it never kills you off the top. Big change. The pressure here from coming out from Kiwi, looking to see how that close range encounter is going to be with Hydrant. Sorry, with Bell, and then now Hydrant in play, of course. No, wow. not enough, not enough, not enough. I think Frog understood, like, you know what, Kiwi's looking for a roll. I cannot give her a roll, so it's best to just hold my shield in play, and then I go for my out of shield battle, and I react. Mm -hmm. Oh, not enough to kill. Still some really good edge guards here. Oh, no tech. Oh, man. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, she had like a lot of time to tech that too. Just wasn't there. Go and play again. Yeah, good try. Trying to apply some shield pressure. But yeah, I like that from Froggy's AK center. But the back throw. Man, seeing Bale off the stage immediately. Still That's pretty big. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Stop playing at the <laughs> <laughs> when, he gets, when he gets the fruit, Pac-Man is really begging you to just go to the ledge. I was going to say, like, man, like, you, have to, you have to give it a Kiwi there. I understood that, you know, if you want to stay in that low profile, I can do anything from the ledge with this Galaga. Yeah, this is so much percent. Still, really, oh, really yeah. good lead. This is still a really good lead for, uh, for Frog. Kiwi try to try to check the out of the platform opportunity there, but like I said, I think Frog just kind of understands. I don't really. If I'm staying in the defensive stance. I have no really any other reason, particularly to roll or to overcommit myself to getting out of the situation like this. Oh, once again, the oh back, my. not enough though. 136. Kiwi has actually done a great job of staying at low percent in this situation. Yeah, all the plays she's been making with this high has been really strong. No tech. No, Kiwi, not oh, like this. Oh, Kiwi missing two crucial techs, unfortunately. And Frog is actually going to move on 3-1 into the, the loser's final versus, versus Mercury.